What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so guess what? In our last episode, we managed to capture what's his face? Yeah, we captured uh, Articuno. And uh, we went through the Seafall Islands pretty uh, easily. Okay, so now it is time for us to finally get to the uh, Cinnabar Islands. And, uh, well. Let's see, we're going to be battling a lot of people along the way. We're going to keep the same team intact, just so we can actually get some experience points, you know, build them up so we can actually uh, have another team right there, like Dubasaur. If you guys may have remembered in my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, I had a, I had an Ivysaur, and I, did e I didn't evolve it into Venusaur because I switched it out. So, why not have it a, have a redemption right here on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu? No, it's not going to be on my team, but... It's going to be part of the whole, you know, the whole thing to defeat everybody else right here. Now, here we are in a big disadvantage because Slowbro is a Psychic-type Pokemon. But luckily for us, we are faster than this guy. And here it comes with its Yawn Attack. Not going to work because the next move right here is going to be his last one he's going to see. Look at that. Say goodbye to Slowbro. Yeah, buddy. All right. Okay. All righty. Look at that. And Raichu grows to level 32. And, well, there we go. Getting our Pokeballs and all that stuff. Now, let's see. I think it's finally time to evolve the Pikachu named Raichu. Mainly because I think it already has the moves that I want it to have. So, let's go ahead and evolve this guy. Now, there is a reason why I named this Pokemon Raichu, because it does have perfect stats, almost near perfect stats, that I kind of want to have a perfect Raichu. Even though I have an Alolan Raichu, I kind of want to keep this guy right here. Look at that. Fully evolved. Okay, alrighty. And, well, here we have its stats, and it is pretty small, but... It will learn a new move, and that is Thunder Punch, so let's go ahead and teach it Thunder Punch here. So, look at this. Raichu, the uh, pretty cool Pokemon right here. I'm just going to take away this guy, and there we go. Raichu is actually Raichu now, so I don't have anything to worry about. And, well, let's see. Nothing else right here except for just a smooth, smooth sailing right here. Now, there are going to be some Pokemon that's going to attack right here. I might consider capturing them and all that stuff. So, here we go. Three Ultra Balls. Yeah, buddy. And, well, let's see. Party. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use Raichu now as a Raichu. And this guy is a bird trainer. So, let's go right ahead and see what's up right here. Alrighty. So here we go, Bird Keeper Roger wants the battle, and it is coming out with a Firo. Look at you. Okay, Firo, here we go. Raichu, actually Raichu. Look at this guy. Okay. I think I already know what I want to do. Let's go. Thunder Punch. And here we have a Drill Run. Good God. Okay, so we almost fainted there. So here goes the Thunder Punch, and it doesn't even beat this Pokemon right here, so... We're going to have to switch out our Pokemon, and the proper Pokemon to go to is Tank, because it's not going to be affected by that Drill Run right here. So let's go Tank. Go ahead, try and Drill Run him right now. Quick attack. Doesn't really do much. So here we go. Let's get the... Uh, let's go with the Crunch attack right here. And here comes a Drill Pack. Still powerful, but yet, here we have Tank. Crunch attack for the win. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, more points. And, well, let's go ahead and go with a Dodrio. So, let's go straight to Aaliyah. Hopefully, my Aaliyah can beat him. Hopefully. Because if, if she can't, then uh, my real Aaliyah is going to kick my butt. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, here we go. Dodrio coming out. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a Thunder Attack right here. And that is a Jump Kick and Crap Baskets. Ah, oh, crud. Okay. Um. Oh, crud. Alrighty. Okay, so. We're gonna have to go with Budkiss for right now, just in case Dodrio wants to mess with us. Okay, so, let's see. We're gonna go with the bag. We're gonna have to revive this Aaliyah right here. Do not want her to go to waste. 
So there we go. Reviving Aaliyah. And here comes a drill pack. Not so powerful. Let's fry this bird with uh, no an outrage attack. So he's going again with another drill pack. And this one right here is just going to mess us up. But here we go. Outrage takes its hit. And, well, here comes another drill pack. And there goes Budkiss. Good God. So I got ballsy, okay? I got ballsy. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go with Sparky right here. Why? It is strong enough to take care of this Pokemon. Level 61. Alrighty. Let's get this. Finish him off. Dunderbolt. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Dodrio. Not so effective anymore. This guy evolved all three Pokemon. I hope he evolved all three Pokemon and all that crud. And yeah, he did. So let's go ahead and just destroy this Pidgeot right here. Alright. Petty ass me right here. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt does it. Alrighty. Okay. And this Pidgeot has been defeated easily. And, well, there we go. Level 62 right there for our Sparky. And, let's see. What else can it get? Dubasaur grows to level 38. And Roger has been defeated. Yeah, no love for anybody right there. So, let's go right ahead and start healing Pokemon because, well... We decided not to. Let's see. Raichu is not fainted, but here we have Budkiss. And let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Alright, there we go. Every single one of these guys has gotten a hit here and there. It's only it's only it's only right to heal them all. Here we go. Here we go, Sparky. Wow, we're gonna we're gonna use up all the super potions right here. I think it's a good idea to start buying some new potions right there, so. There we go, and everybody is healed up, and good to go. Let's go ahead and start surfing again. A sea skin. All right, need the guy, need this guy to to keep an eye out for me. Okay, so let's see what this guy's all about. He is a swimmer, Dean, and he wants to come out with some kind of Pokemon right here, some crazy looking Pokemon. That's right. If you guys remember. Patrick, Patrick Star. Yeah, definitely not the Pokemon that I wanted to go up against. So let's go right here, Thunder. And here comes a Psychic Attack, Crap Baskets. And yeah. Huh. Completely forgot that most of these Pokemon trainers are at level 40, and that does not finish off our Pokemon right there, but it paralyzes them. Alright, we got a chance here. Thunder Punch. We should be faster than this guy now. And yes, we are. Thunder Punch takes down Starmie. Look at that. Alrighty. And everybody else is getting points. And he's about to come out with a Kingler. So let's go right ahead and go to Aaliyah. Please do not faint. Please, please, please do not faint. Alrighty. Let's get this. Alrighty. We're gonna go with a. Uh, we're gonna go with a Thunder Attack right here. Hopefully, this Pokemon's not as fast as us. So here we go, Thunder Attack. Nope, it is faster than us, and it has Crab Hammer. Jesus, criminy! Alright, time to avenge Aaliyah. Let's go with Dubasaur. This is ridiculous. Well, <sighs> that's what happens when you have a regular Pikachu and all that crud. Alrighty, so let's go back to Aaliyah, revive her. See, this is how life is. It just gets harder and harder. But there it is, a Crab Hammer attack. And so we're going to be going straight for a Mega Drain. That way we don't have to use potions on this guy. Look at that. Say goodbye to Kingler. Okay, alrighty. So we got all our HP back right there. Alrighty. And more experience points for all of us. Leah grows to level 33. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Tentacruel, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Tank right here. Alright, Tank. You got this. You have a move that can actually work against this guy, and that is Psychic. And here comes the Tentacruel. Cruel, I should say. So, let's go right on. And, no, it doesn't have... Oh, crap, Baskets. Never mind. I thought too far ahead, and here comes a pay, uh, Poison Jab. Doesn't poison me, but here comes the body slam. 
Look at that. Tentacruel almost faints. So let's finish this guy off with a crunch attack right here. And, oh god, yeah, surf attack? Yeah, not so effective right there. Let's go, tank. Crunch attack for the win. Look at that, look at that. Alrighty. More experience points. Tank is about to grow to level 60 right there. And, well, let's see. Raichu, of course. Get some leveling up, and, well... You, we get three Pokeballs out of the whole situation right there. So, okay. Let us move on right here. Let's not get attacked by any more Pokemon. And, well, we got a few more trainers to go. Let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and move to Dubasaur. Actually, scratch that. Let's go with Budkiss. I have a feeling this Pokemon trainer does have grass types. All right, what's up? I swam here from Cinnabar Island. It wasn't easy, did I tell you? Well, nothing's too easy. So here we go, another battle. Picnicker Missy wants the battle, and she does have one Pokemon in Crud. It's a Jolteon. Ah, oh, Crud. All right, so we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to be working for this one right here. So let's see. Do not have a move for this. So let's go right ahead and move on to another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Tank. There is a small possibility that... Jolteon right here may have Pin Missile. Do not want that. So here we go. Tank getting this quick attack right here. Not so effective because it has plenty of HP. Let's go with the Super Power right here. Look at that. Two quick attacks. Still nothing. So here we go. Super Power. Bam. Finishes off Jolteon. Oh my god. Jolteon. Defeated. And well, that's more points for us. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Okay, so let's see if we can actually move on right here. So Pikachu surfs. Try not to battle that girl just yet. And grab this item. And we found ourselves a Max Repel. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at how far we are from uh, Cinnabar Island. So let's use this item right here. And yeah, we are just a few steps away. We just need to battle maybe one or two more trainers right here. So... Again, let's go with the sea skim and not use Budkiss this time. And let's just go ahead and use Sparky the whole way through right here. And yeah, she gave him. She gave. Wow, he gave her big pearls. I don't know if that's in a new window or anything like that, but let's go right ahead. Take on uh, Nora, and she will be coming out with a Cloister. All right, Cloister. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go right ahead and use a Thunderbolt attack right here. Alrighty, Thunderbolt. And nothing right there. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And let's see. Well, that's pretty much it right there. So, let's go ahead and move on. Let's see. Oh, we got three trainers. And Cinnabar Island's right up ahead. So, let's go ahead and beat this trainer first. And then I believe the which we call it trainer, the ace trainer will be afterwards. So here we are battling up against Beauty Melissa, and well, she's coming out with a Sea King. Alrighty, let's go, Sparky. Let's get this, Sparky. Let's go for a Thunderbolt, and here comes a Thunderbolt for the win. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, look at that. Sparky is showing a little bit of love to, uh, towards us. And more experience points for all our Pokemon right there. And she will be coming out with a Jinx. So let's go right ahead and use Budkiss right here. Kind of want to see if I can beat it with just Budkiss. Since it does have maybe one or two attacks that can beat it. Alrighty, look at that. Jinx looking all mean and everything. So here we go. Flamethrower attack. And oh crud, lovely kiss. Here's a kiss. And we fall asleep. So that right there is not good. Yeah. Okay, so that's not what we wanted. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Actually, wrong Pokemon. Wrong Pokemon. I guess we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with Sparky right here just because it's stronger, it's faster, it's smaller, and all that crud. So here we go, Sparky. Alrighty, Sparky. Getting this uh, psychic attack right here. 
And, well, let's go right ahead and use another Thunderbolt. Maybe it'll work. It did. It, it worked perfectly. Look at that. It was a critical hit as well. Don't know why I switched my Pokemon. Look at that. Okay, and Buck has grossed to level 39 without doing anything. And, well, Beauty Melissa has been defeated. And now we're just going to have to battle one more trainer without getting caught, well, caught up with these guys. So, let's see. Buck is asleep. Yeah. We're just going to have to battle this guy. What's cool and happening? Trading Pokemon. You know, it's been a while since I've actually traded Pokemon, so... <laughs> it's going to be a while before I do that. So here we go, taking on Marty right here, coming out with his Golem. He's got a Golem. Pikachu's looking at him. It'd be a shame if I made you, uh... If I made you faint right there and then. Alrighty, Splishy Splash all the way. Oh, yes. Look at that. Golem had no chance. <laughs> Another critical hit right there, and, well, there goes Golem. And more Pokemon, more experience points, and he's about to come out with a pincer. Yeah, not going to happen. I, I, I really wanted to use Budkiss onto this one right here, but that was not going to be an option. So let's go right ahead and use a Floaty Fall onto this guy. Floaty Fall does it, and go. Oh, wow, nearly beats this guy right here. And here comes the X-Scissors, but I, mi or I moved out of the way, so let's go ahead and finish this guy. Thunderbolt. Alrighty. See, you just have a Pikachu like I do. Loves you every single step of the way. There goes Pinsir, and no more Ace Trainer Marty. Alrighty, we're getting more Pokeballs out of the way. That's good. Okay. So now we're just going to have to not go there, because there's a... There's a freaking uh, tentacle, and we found ourselves a Stardust out of nowhere. Didn't even know. And, well, here we go with Pikachu, and now we're trying to get out of the way right here. Look at that. <laughs> Avoided all the tentacles, and finally, here we are in Cinnabar Island, guys. And I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, he's going to save the, the other stuff for the next episode. Well, only this, the Pokemon Mansion. Everything else, I need to actually show you guys what's going to be going on right here. So, here we are in the Pokemon, or in the Cinnabar Island. This place is famous for, for a few things, the Pokemon Mansion and the Research Lab. Talk to this lady. Uh, Blaine is an odd one. He's lived on an island since before the Pokemon Lab was built. So, we're going to be going into the Pokemon Lab because we have two fossils that we need revived. You don't need to walk all the way that way anymore. Now you got to go right here and talk to this guy. He's like, we study Pokemon day and out here. Uh, bring us rare Pokemon to examine. Never mind. I was just, yeah, I was whatever. Talk to this guy. Did you come to take a look at our lab? Most impressive. I like to see kind of that kind of thrive. And that looks like Mr. Fuji right there. Dr. Fuji, huh? Oh, would you look at that? So they're finally acknowledging uh, Mr. Fuji as one of the people right here, the scientist. So let's go right ahead and go into the reception room and talk to this guy. This stuff is very soft and comfortable. Okay. This is the reception room. It's a room where we can talk with our guests. When we don't have guests, it's a place for science to slack off. Well, slack off right there. And I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare Pokemon. Well, I found two fossils. I need to find the guy that does the thing for the guy. And, hey, no running in the hallways. Boy, I've always wanted to say to have the chance to say that. Okay. And what are we doing right here? I think there's an individual here that will offer us a Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Come on. Come at me. I'm a scientist who's been working out without sleep or rest. You really think you can stand a chance? Oh, damn. Sorry, sorry to touch you like that all of a sudden. I haven't slept in days. Here, I'll give you this. Do you, th do you think you can forgive me? Sure, and here we have the TMO2 taunt. Yep, it forces the Pokemon to just use one move. And uh, I'm so busy, not a moment to breathe. Certainly no time to talk to the children. Wow, these guys are... They, they need to get to sleep. That's right, Eevee has the potential to evolve in a variety of different ways. Didn't know that. Ugh, what have I done? I accidentally wrote on the board and put permanent marker. Maybe I could turn it in the other way and no one could know. Yeah, they'll know. They'll probably know. 
Okay, so let's go right ahead and go into the final lab right here. And in this lab, you'll be able to actually revive your Pokemon. My eyes get so tired when I look at this computer for too long. Resting your eyes is very important, you know. It is. And here we have this guy. Maybe when we become a, when I become a fossil, they'll revive me in a distant future. Huh. All right. Ha! Yeah. I'm an important doctor here. Yes, very well known indeed. Here I study rare po Pokemon fossils. Hey, do you have a fossil for me? Sure. I do have the Helix fossil right here. It's a fossil of an Omanyte, a Pokemon that is already extinct. Shall I use a resurrection machine to make that the Pokemon live again? Sure. All right, give it right there, and... Well, he revives the Pokemon. You don't even need to go outside anymore. And here we have Omanyte. Pretty nice Pokemon right there. It's going to go straight to our Pokedex right here, and look at that. Omanyte is in our Pokedex. An ancient Pokemon that was recovered from a fossil. It swam by cleverly twisting its ten tentacles about. Ah, ten tentacles. Alrighty. And, well, I got another fossil right here, so please revive this old fossil for me. Yes, or old, old, old Amber. And here it is. Reviving the Pokemon. Science, motherfucker. And here it is. We got ourselves an Aerodactyl from the Doctor. Let's take a look at this Aerodactyl. Look at this. It's looking all majestic and evil looking. The Rock and Flying type Pokemon. A savage Pokemon that died out in ancient times. It was resurrected using DNA taken uh, taken by from an amber. All right, so that's two good Pokemon right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. Going straight to the Pokemon box, and here we have the newest Pokemon to our collection. Let's go ahead and uh, read this guy up. So here we have Omanyte at level 44. Let's judge its stats. It has great stats right here. And it has some pretty good moves. Rock Throw, Protect, Rock Slide, Hydro Pump. Definitely a Pokemon that you can actually get on your team. And here we have Aerodactyl. I do not want to add to the party. So check the summary right here. And this guy is a Rock and Flying type Pokemon. Judge it. It has some pretty great stats as well. And take a look at its moves. Rock Throw, Agility, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Okay, so... One great thing about this is that they both come in level 44, and luckily for us, we got a buttload of rare candy, so... Yeah, we're gonna evolve our good old buddy. Actually, we need to put this guy on our team just to add to our Pokedex, so let's go right ahead and... Not this guy. Let's go ahead and add this guy to the party right now. Let's go ahead and put Tank away since, you know, it's close to level 60. And let's go to the candy jar, go straight down, and here we have 12 rare candies. Gonna give this to our good old buddy, Omanyte. Level 45, and bam, it is finally evolving. See, it didn't really take that long to actually do. Look at that, look at that. And with just a flick of a wrist and stuff and all that stuff, Omanyte becomes Omastar. Look at that. Oma Star. It's a pretty good Pokemon. And it's going to be added to the Pokedex. Now, in this game, you do have the chance to actually finish out the Pokedex. As you can see right here, it is the Spiral Pokemon, still a water and rock type Pokemon. Its sharp beak rings its mouth. Its shell was too big for it to move freely, so it became extinct. Huh. It became extinct, and it's now learning a new move, which is called Spike Cannon. I think I'm gonna take away, let's see, Spike Cannon. And I'm gonna take away Protect because it really, yeah, like who, who uses Protect all the time? Only the computer. That's all it does. And there it is, we got Spike Cannon. And well. Oh crap! Ah, snap. Well, I accidentally gave it another rare candy. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. If you talk to this guy. All matter is made up of tiny molecules. It's like how 100 is a collection of lots of ones. Okay. That is true. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this episode. We still got a lot to cover here in Cinnabar Island, including the the Pokemon Mansion, which we'll be covering in the next episode. And then, uh, then we got a gym battle, which we're excited for. And finally, 
going straight to the final gym. And let's see, is there an individual here that will teach us anything? I don't know. Hold on. Talk to this guy. You have lots of friends. People say uh, trading grow faster. That is true. If you talk to this lady, I came to Cinnabar Island Gym, but the door is locked tight. Okay, and I'm pretty sure there was a... Okay, this individual right here probably trades you a Pokemon. Are you interested in a Dark-type Pokemon? I got a gr I have a Grimer. Maybe I could trade my Dark-type Grimer for it. I do have a Grimer, and crap, I don't have a Grimer. But this guy right here actually uh, gives you an Alolan Grimer. It's both Dark and Poison-type. A very good move. A very good Pokemon. Pokemon can keep on learning new moves even if you stop them from evolving. It's a trick. It's a trick that experienced trainers know. Wait till your Pokemon learns a move it wouldn't. It wouldn't otherwise, and only then you can evolve it. Well, too bad for me. I, I actually like to evolve my Pokemon. So here we are, guys. Stay tuned in the next episode. I did not want to do that. In the next episode, we will be going to the Pokemon Mansion and taking care of business there. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.